Welcome back, family, to Northside LDN. And today we had Julian after Arsenal lost to Aston Villa 2 0. Julian come out and said Arsenal will still have a positive season and happy ending like the Titanic. Without further ado, I'm here with Fuad. Let's get straight into it. Let's go. It wasn't all bad today. I mean, everyone around. It wasn't me, all bad. No, it wasn't all bad. The, what, 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 what? Julian, Explain yeah. to me, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a bit lost. All right, for a start, when I say it wasn't all bad, before the game, Liverpool lose. Right. That's the first thing I'd say, which is an absolute positive for Arsenal, oh, okay, okay, that, okay. that Liverpool lost. The second thing which Lee did touch on, which is one of the few things I agreed with, was the quality of Aston Villa today. Aston Villa played one of the best teams I've seen come here. Yeah, the best team to come here this season. In a way, performance. The other side of it is the first half performance. Now, I'm not going to use the word excellent, but it was good. It was a... Is that a positive for you? The fact that we played well in the first half? He just he just really contradicted, it contradicted himself. Think of it. He was said that he just said at the start of the comment, and people go understand this, he said it was, it was a good because Liverpool lost but then if we're in a title race with Liverpool and we lost ain't it good for them too apparently that, Liverpool that, bottled it but Arsenal are still in it but we're both no, level no, that, 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 that's what I'm saying to you it, it don't make any sense in it what he just said like it, if if I if, if I'm a, if I was a Liverpool fan now and I know Arsenal lost anything I'd be more happier because we lost first and the donkeys left out and lost after us anything I don't know what he's going with that. That's just a stupid statement he put there. And the second one is Villa just come and don't really have to do. And Emery just don't really have to do, innit? He's, he's saying they're the best team. No, no, they took six points off us. So we were expecting them to come. It was going to be a tough game. If any Arsenal fan thought Villa were coming with our ex-manager or we're going to wipe the floor with them, then they got seven problems. They got issues in their head. Doesn't matter. It's irrelevant what we did first half. They took the three points and they got they got the, and, and and their fans went home happy. And our fans, you know already what happened in, and, and our fans left the stadium. So you, what it is is hope in it. it. It's this hope thing. Hope kills you, man. Don't don't have that. That's what he's hoping. It's all hope. I believe. I hope. I believe. But the reality is, we can all sit here and hope and believe. But in the last three years. Me, you, the, the whole world have seen it. You haven't seen Man City drop points in the last six, seven games, especially when in that position of winning the title. And that's a fact. <clears throat> so, I mean, you don't have to be... You don't have to be a, a, a football scientist to know that. You just got to like football to know that. Mm. If you do it and you don't see what's around you and you don't see the reality of football, you know already... Positive, but the reality is, the Man City being top with two points clear and the game's film, the title's over, bro. If, if it, 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 obviously it could be a twist, it could, but the reality tells me it's over because they don't drop points. So I don't know what he's talking about. Mm. I don't get it either. I don't know how. I don't, I don't know, know how yeah. Arsenal fans were celebrating that Liverpool lost the game. They yeah. didn't talk about Liverpool had so many chances and didn't bury it. They just said they lost the game. They bottled it. Why is it so straightforward when it's Liverpool, but when it's Arsenal, we're still in it? Oh, it's not all bad. The result is the same as Liverpool. We lost the game. Equal on points. We didn't exactly. do the job. That's it. You can't spin that. But let's carry on. Let's carry on. Let's see what else um, the, 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 Dr. Gyro has got to say. The good first half performance. The approach play today was some of the best approach play I have seen all season. What led... It's kind of like they're saying it's done. Now, one of my favourite films is Titanic. We all know how Titanic ends. Yeah, everyone this, dies. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. But here's the difference. This is the Premier League. We do not know how this ends. You cannot say for definite that Manchester City are not going to drop points. I've looked at their their games. They are not. They're not a machine that. How can you make the analogy about Titanic? It's a sad ending. The majority of people die. And the couple, uh, one of them dies now. Do I, am I remembering it straight? One of them dies. So what's he talking about? 
And when he's talking about we, we can't predict the future, I'll tell you what, we can predict the future because this team has only got, they might not be the team of last season, but when it really counts, they're turning up. Even when they haven't had an amazing se uh, season this season in comparison to last in terms of the way that they're playing, they were still good enough to stay in the title race. And to wait and see if Liverpool and Arsenal had the bottle to continue applying the pressure and winning games. So what is this Filo Daputa talking about, bro? What is this Marika Damelda talking about? So, what you know, talking you know, about? Yeah. Let me tell you You know when you talk about the Titanic? See the, see, see the old bitch that survives on the Titanic and that's a myth? That's Man City with a diamond fucking ring or the diamond thing around her. Do you know when you know when the Titanic film and that old bitch who survives? And I let all them finish. That's what I say. They always survive. So if you're going to go off that, yeah, yeah. So what he's trying to say, really, what he's trying to say is Arsenal sunk, Liverpool sunk, and the old lady who survived with a diamond around the chain is Man City. <laughs> that's what he's trying to say, really. Because that's the only way I explain it to people, bro. I'm telling you, oh, Aston Villa was that iceberg. Aston Villa was that iceberg, bro, that sunk our season. Yeah. The, the, yes, one. I have got a spreadsheet. What does this one say? <laughs> What's the spreadsheet say on this one? All right, this is the first one I've got wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. It isn't fine. I'm not coming on here and saying Arsenal are definitely going to win the league. But what I am saying is we still have a chance. And, you know, I, I'm not going to turn my, you know, I'm not going to do a total flip flop on one game. And it actually one half that didn't quite go our way. Mm. We've been a tremendous team this season, absolutely tremendous. And as people have said, we are the best team in the league and we still can be. So there's no reason why we can't go to Spurs and get a result. There's no reason why we can't win the rest of our games. How are you the best team and you don't win? How are you the best team? Surely the best team wins the league. You don't know that we're winning the league. Everyone keeps running for our Spurs game, bro. It ain't a Spurs game we've got to worry about. It's Old Trafford. It's Old Trafford. Is the Chelsea game's probably going to be at Stamford Bridge? I think. No, it's at home. We're at home. We're at home. We're at home. We're oh, you're at home. home. But still, it's Chelsea, and you know they're going to want to ruin our parade our, of yeah, winning yeah. the league. Yeah. What's this guy talking about, bro? I don't know. He's, he's what he's. I don't know, bro. He just he works for the club, don't he? But he's just trying to put a PA stand out there, or PR stand. I mean, PR stand out there. To make fans think, listen, all right, even if Man City drop points, all right, if Man City do drop points, it doesn't mean we're going to capitalize on it. And Liverpool are the same. We're not, it doesn't mean they could drop points, but are we going to capitalize on it? Mm -hmm. That's the real question you've got to ask yourselves. Is he going to play the right team? Is he going to, is he going to, because everyone's going on about Aston Villa, Aston Villa. He played the team that played into their hands. He played the same team as Smart, who, who he, who he beat. He's, he, he done it. Questioning now, they're all just questioning, they're all hoping. Oh, yeah, man, why are you worried about Man City for? I don't know why Arsenal fans were worried about Man City, man. This is a bigger issue, bigger problem is our own club. When something is working, why break it? Why cut it? Mm. You know, Kyrio, like, like, like yesterday, I, I seen what you said about him. Carefully, I respect you for that. You said I wasn't, you said I didn't rate him, but he, he, he showed uh, he earned my respect because he played in the big games. Like, Quiet against Liverpool when we beat him in the Emirates. He he went on some mad run and made history for this club. Remember they were talking about we're gonna win the league and we scored all them goals. Mm. He was part of that clean sheet. We've had three, five clean sheets in a row with, with him. He was part of that. Mm. Arsenal fans are fickle. They forget that. And, and then what happens is Arteta goes and drops him and brings Zinchenko in. That's the way you should be questioning his favoritism. Not Man City. You don't see Pep Guardiola doing that. If your defence is like that good and they've kept clean, five clean sheets and, you, and, and they've been on, on form all season, why the heck are you going to break it up? And why are you playing that donkey up front? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've had enough of Jesus, yeah? You've had enough now. Oh, bro. Do you know what, bro? I, 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 wait, wait, wait. Do you know what? I was saying it on the show last time. He shouldn't get back in the team. For some reason, he does it for himself. Do you know what? Like, like, everyone curses, like you see my voice note, you know, I left you, innit? Mm. Oh, I was trying to tell you guys, there was none of, no one's having none of it. I said, Shaka left for a reason, bro. Shaka left because he mostly said, You guys are a bunch of failures, 
And you know, you know what he said? He said, Arsenal's a bunch of failure. So is the fan base. So is the team. I'm going over to Germany to win the league. And exactly what he did, bro. Seen his comments come out? Seen what he's put on Twitter? Have you seen his tweets? <laughs> oh, no. No, no. And I'll say something to Shaka. Shaka was in the team. Like Lee said yesterday. We were eight points clear, bro. That's because of party, too. Why are you Thomas party in the team? These things. When well, everyone's blaming the bench, you could, you, you could play party in Jorginho, you could play party in Smith Pro, you could play party in anyone, just don't change the defense. Mm. Up front. It's been working. Listen, I me and you ain't the big, we knew ain't the biggest Havertz fans, and we said that. But like you said the other day, you give him his preps, his props. I mean, you give him, you give him, you picked it up saying he scored nine goals, you deserve man of the match. It's not Havertz's fault that he's playing back in the, when, he, when, when he ain't comfortable to play. That's down to the manager. Mm. Well, something's working, but he, he what pissed me off, what, what, what upsets me the most, he's done it in the worst time ever, the most important time ever, where you need to win. When you, the title now, if we would have won yesterday, the title's back in our hands, but now it's all hope, and all thing. All hope, and everyone's praying. Right, you can go and pray in a mosque 24 hours, go and pray in the church, go and pray in the synagogue, whatever you want to pray, bruh. <sighs> Me out, no. Yesterday was the day when he could have he could have played the same team and kept going, kept going, but he chose not to. And like I said to my friend earlier on, favoritism. Now that, that's what gets away is favoritism. It's called nepotism, ne ne nepotism or something, isn't it? Nepotism. He's got a lot of uh, nepotism. Like, oh, I like this guy. Like, bro, listen. If you like, listen, I, listen. You're in Britain now, all right? You're not in. Af you're not. You're not. No, no. It's a freak country, all right? If you like Zinchenko that much. And you, when you come out, I love Habit, I love this player. If you like, if you love Zinchenko that much, or you want, or you love that much, and you love Zinchenko that much, bro, listen, bro, it's up to you what you do in your in your spare time. You want to take him to Love Island? Go to Love Island. You want to love this? You want to do that? <laughs> Kenny? But this is a this is a football club. Uh... I, it, it, wait, no, but like like me, I, I'm an artist, a fan, bro. But I, I will criticize him and question him. Where in the history of a manager come out and said, I love these players? If that's the case then, bro. Go and do what you gotta do, bro. But you don't have to explain it to me. Explain it to your missus, bro. <laughs> okay, me, bro. I love you. I don't care if you love him. This is why I don't I don't blame Vieira. This is why remember I used to tell you I don't blame Vieira. I don't blame uh, Enketia. I don't blame Reese Nelson. I don't blame uh Smith Rowe. I don't blame any of these players because he hasn't what he's done, he's gone, he what he's done this season, I think, and he's made it blatant that he's put his hands around the place he wants to. It's a football mm. club. Mm -hmm. Your it's down to your job is not to like none of these people. Your job is to come here strictly business. You know, mm -hmm. did you know that Pep Guardiola, bro, and Haaland do not get on? It's strictly business. Pep Guardiola said, I'm not here to be your friend, I'm your manager. I just want you to win and score me goals. Mm -hmm. You see now, did you see him in the Burnley game last season? Kicking off. They kicked mm -hmm. off this season. He dropped it. Thing. It's business, people. It's football. When I start, like I is taking a piss in a way, like the man, the man turned into the celebrity. I, well, I won't be surprised if Arsenal has a celebrity show, the celebrity love show. It's mad, bro. It, it, it's mad, bro. And, and, and he does it in the wrong time of the season, bro. And then when people come at you, come at Lee, and come at Kenny, and come at everyone, especially Kenny, who goes to the games and that, you got no right because because. Yo, where did he go? He went. Top Gun has got to you. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, carry What's on. Up? No, no I said all, all, all them people, all them people yesterday left the stadium yesterday. Mm. You seen the stadium got empty. Mm. And, and Kenny said it today, like he used to say, I said that all the stadium, I seen the whole world seen it. And then when you go on their Twitter, like they would just say, go on Twitter and see what they're saying now. So they know, they know the reality is a miracle happens. A man City drops two games and Arsenal wins their game. That's the only way. That's a reality. But the reality is, can you see that happening? I doubt it very much. You've got to accept it because don't forget hope. Hope gets you nowhere. So yeah, Arsenal, man, they, they, they've had their chance. They blew it. And, and just have a look. You know, and another thing I'll give the Arsenal fans to wake uh, call on is some some people might not have it. So he might not have it in him. Like like time will tell. Now, from now to me, I'll make a judgment. But it, it seems like we're heading in a way where we're not actually going to win anything. Mm. 
Let's carry on. Let's carry on. There's reason why City, and I'm going to use the word, can drop points. And they can drop points. I mean, listen, there is... And a, it's, it's, not, it's, it's just not done. Yeah, there is a scenario. All experience of coming to Arsenal since Arteta took over and, and we came back from lockdown has changed. I mean, the fact that we're disappointed that we're now in second place. What's important here is we're coming to the games, we're enjoying them. There is something to play for. We are in with a chance. We are competing. In the last few years of Wenger and under Emery towards the end of his reign, I was talking to the guys next to me about nothing. Because let, let me let me just say this, yeah. Arteta re-establishing the, the standards, yeah, is the bare minimum. Yeah, one of the biggest clubs. That is the expectation. The fact that we fell off from that is a joke in the first place, yeah? Yeah, you can get props, but only to a certain level. We only give Poch a certain level of credit to get to a Champions League final. He didn't win it. We only get Brendan Rodgers a certain level of praise because he only came second. He didn't get over the line. When Ole got second with Man United, you can only give him certain praise to a certain level. You're telling us that all of a sudden, this manager, oh, we have to praise him because he got us back to a level. Bro, he's been given money and time to achieve that. He hasn't, it's not like he, he did it with Leicester. Then you could say, whoa, this guy, we were not expected to, to be doing this and he's got us to a level we ain't seen before. Then to a degree, I can understand it. This is a club that's given you the money, given you the time, and you knew when you signed that contract what the expectation is. You knew why Unai Emery got fired because he didn't meet the expectation of winning. Not, nobody credits Unai Emery for getting to a Europa League final. He didn't win it. You know, nobody you know, uses that as an argument to, oh, you know what, we've got to I give find. him props. He got to a final. When you're a, a yeah, manager of Arsenal, Liverpool, Man United, you are expected to win major honours, bro. Being a nearly man ain't good enough. That is not why you signed the contract. Your contract is to win major honours, bro. So this guy's saying that, oh, he reinstated the fact that we're back at the top. We pay the money and we are the club that we are. So we are expected to do that. We're not going to give you a round of applause for, for being, getting us back in, in a situation where we can compete with top teams, bro. You ain't done it on shoestring budget. You ain't done it at a club that ain't, doesn't have the history and the prestige to be winning major honours. So I think they need to relax a little bit with over celebrating him getting us back to this level. We're supposed to be at this level. We're supposed to be competing for major honours. And we're supposed to be getting over the line. So what are we talking about here? The only managers that we celebrate are managers that get over the line. Do If this manager leaves, is anyone going to suggest to me a manager that's never won anything? No, they're not. They're going to want a proven winner. They want a winner, bro. So what are we talking about? It makes no sense. We got rid of Wenger because he could no longer win. It's about winning, bro. We got tired of him being a nearly man. So because we got rid of Wenger of being a nearly man, let's not start propping up this guy that's being a nearly man and can't get over the line. What is it? We want to be winners or we want to be losers? Because Arsenal fans love to banter Man United, uh, to Tottenham when they finish second in the league, when they finish runners up in the Champions League. We don't, we don't rate that. Oh no, we don't care about Tottenham. Are they nearly men? So why is it different when it's Arsenal? When it's Arsenal, it's always an excuse. When it's everybody else, oh, you didn't win anything. It makes no sense. But let's, let's keep going because we've got, we've got a couple of clips to get. I've said this before. We don't have world-class players and we don't have individuals that shine outside of the system. Do you disagree, Fuad? Go on, you can speak. Yeah, you muted me. I'm on mute. Oh, you're... Oh, no, I didn't mute you, bro. I didn't mute you. But carry on. Yo, you good? Technical difficulty over here. Technical difficulty, bro. What's going on? Man said I muted him. I'm on mute. You're not on mute, bro. I could hear you when you said that. I'll leave and come back. I'll leave and come All back. All right, leave and come back. Leave and come back. Listen, to me, yeah, it ain't shocking. It ain't shocking, bro. We haven't got leaders. And let's be real. The only real leader that we had, proper leader that we had that was vocal, that tried. And I'm not saying that he was the most amazing player in the world. Because trust me, we needed to get better than him. But Granit Xhaka was a leader. I remember when Rance told me, you man got rid of the only player that had something about him in terms of personality. Had something about him, bro. 
Do you know what I'm saying? Somebody that would shout at players. Somebody that would... He wouldn't take it, bro. He had a bit of a mean streak. And that was Xhaka. Now, do you think that I'm saying that I would have kept Xhaka? No. But you need leaders. We needed better in quality, but we needed personalities that are leaders. People that are going to get stuck in. People that are going to shout at each other. People that are going to tell each other where they're not doing. You need leaders on the pitch. You don't just need the manager to be telling you where you're going wrong. You need also players that are going to tell each other where you're going wrong. Kick back. Get back. You make sure the next time you, you pass that ball, pass it this way or pass it faster or, or transition quicker. You need characters. The Invincibles were characters. Characters, bro. They weren't yes men, bro. They were characters, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Every team that wins has multiple characters, bro. We don't have that. And when you have a, a, a pro, when you have Project Youth and all these youngsters, this is what you're going to get. Players that don't have those kind of personalities because they haven't got the medals and they haven't got the know-how of getting over the line. And this is the problem. So you're surprised. And listen, this field that put that right here, yeah? I'm, I'm, I'm just tired of being angry at this moment. I'm just so disappointed in Arsenal. I'm tired of being angry. I can't even shout anymore. This Filo Daputa does tactical insight. Filo Daputa, you better work it out. And you better work it out real quick. Because you're the one that's on a show called Tactical Insight. You're the Filo Daputa that told us that Arteta is playing the Cruyff system. You better work it out. We're here for the explanation. Because everybody was telling me this season it would be different. Everybody was telling me that it's different this season. What happened to we learned? We learned from last season. What happened to all of that? I'm here for all the excuses they gave me when I told you things ain't changed. We've learned from last season. We've learned the disappointment of bottling it last season. The players feel it this season. So explain to me why they collapsed. Explain to me why mentally they collapsed. Do you know why? They're as lost as this manager. Do you remember the Porto game? When everybody looked lost. Within 90 minutes, everybody looked lost. They're looking at the manager, not making substitutions or not making the right substitutions, not changing the formation. Not changing the tactics. Not instructing anyone to do anything better. Just keep doing the same pukaria. Keep doing the same merda. This Arteta, this clown, this Joey from Friends, this Spanish Joey from Friends, this filo da puta is clueless. I told you, when shit goes sideways, he doesn't know what to do. And that reflects onto the players. Yeah? You set players out to do a job. If things go wrong, it's down to you to change it tactically. To change the, to change the players on the field. And to change what they're doing that is wrong. And how you prefer you how you how prefer them to attack the game. For example, if you're playing tiki-taka, it's not working. You need to instruct them to hit it long. Or hit them in a the counter. Or start whipping crosses in. And put somebody on the pitch that can do that. It's down to the manager to implement the tactics. It's not down to the players to just coach themselves, bro. Yes, players also need to take it upon themselves. And, and, and have... A moment of brilliance. We saw it with Alexis Sanchez. How many times did we see it with Alexis Sanchez? Game plans in the bin. Not working. Alexis Sanchez gets the ball. Takes on three, four man. Slaps it top bins. But there needs to be accountability from both. You can't be this manager where you play Zinchenko over Kivio. You play Kai Havertz in the middle. When actually against Luton, ESR had a good game. You choose to put Jesus up front instead of playing Havertz there. You choose to keep Saka on, and then when things go sideways, you don't know how to fix it. You changed it, you fix it. It's down to you. Money ain't going to save you from that. I think Arsenal, Arsenal is a fan, it's a club, bro. I think we're just, we're just going to be like, whoa. It's, I think Arsenal is a club, man. Our, it's the fan base, man. We're just, we're just, we're just hope. We're just, we're just full of hope, bro. You know, I think it's a, it's a club, you know. We just sit there, we just cry, like hope, yeah, this guy's not good enough, this guy's good enough, this guy can't get to the team. But at the same time, it's like, yo, know, it's like we, we've done everything wrong, man. I think I, 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 Arsenal does everything wrong. It's like, no, they got, they, they have to like look at it, like, okay, or, like look at it. Ooh, like they say, at one point, Arteta, yes, was one of the best young managers up there. And I, I used to say that. But at the present moment, there's three young managers out there much better than him. And one of them, it's called Javi Alonso. Javi, who works in who won Barcelona, won a title the first time ever in Germany. Javi, for Barcelona. And, uh, and Ruben and Ruben Amara, who's going to win the league for Sporting Lisbon. 
So do you know what someone told me today? And do you know what? It made me think. He went, bro, the difference is the winning inside of him. This guy's Arteta in. Same as me. This is what he said to me. This is what he said to me. He said, the difference between Javi Alonso and, and all M3 managers, you know, they got the winning mentality inside them. They got it across the line. Yep, Ruben Amorim is a legend as well. He's, he, bro. Yeah, I could say he's up there as a legend as for Benfica. Won, won multiple titles with Benfica. Dominated Portugal. Xavi, we already know what Xavi did for Barcelona. Yeah, I, I won everything. Xavi Alonso. Xavi Alonso, top baller. Top, top baller. Left Liverpool, went to Real Madrid, did bits. Yeah. One major on him. said to me, bro. And do you know when I looked at it? When I looked at it, he just, bro, bear, bear in mind, this guy's not negative. He's like me. We, we have no comment. When he just said that to me, I was like, bro, I didn't look at it. He said, bro, they go winning mentality. They, they go, they went inside him. I said, they hadn't got that. Because if he did, he would have he would have got us across the line, he goes. And that's the reality. So like, I know a lot of my, even I got friends, like I believe, but bro, believe all you want. Please just say, come on. Arteta has just done what he, Arteta has just done exactly what he did last year, he done this year. He went back to his old ways. My, friend, my, my friends are playing. And, and that's it. And let me tell you something, James, whatever your name is, of AFTV. Do you know when you say about Jesus? He's fucking shit, bro. Just be truthful to people. No monologue and go run people around the bush. Jesus is shit. When it comes to Arsenal, he's shit. Because if he was any good, he needs to be at Man City. <clears throat> See this way. Well, I tell you what, mate, you better buck up your ideas because we need the tactical insight. Tactical insight. I remember when this clown told me, oh, it's pivotal to the way that we play football. To have Jesus, how he drops in deep is pivotal to the way we play football. The whole time we we're telling you, he ain't a gunman. These men are saying, oh no, but we have to play Saki. He's world class. But now he's burnt out once again at the end of the season because we didn't go and get one. Another right winger. Oh, Zinchenko has to play. Look how pivotal he is. Oh, we had no problem winning all those games after we beat Liverpool without Zinchenko. No problems. No problems at all. If anything, we were solid creating chances and we were solid defensively. It's crazy. But we keep going because there's more clips. There are more clips. Yeah? There are more clips. Good evening. 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 I told Yo. man not to disrespect this manager. I told Yo, bro, man you know not Yo, to bro. disrespect this manager, bro. I told man, but they don't want to listen. Yeah? You know, oh, you he's a what? clown. Look at the way he speaks English, bro. Who cares about how you speak English, bro? Who cares, bro? Good evening to everybody that disrespected Unai Emery, bro. The snobbiness is incredible. He may not be able to speak English well. He's better than the majority of these British managers, if not all of them. You know, you know, Name you know, me a British manager right now that is better than Unai Emery, bro. The disrespect on on uh, on Mr. Goodibinin is mad. I never you, know, you, you, remember, you remember when we spoke about Unai Emery, yeah? I always said to you, yeah. I never said he was the pinnacle, yeah. But when we got Arteta, I, I didn't want this guy to leave, bro. I, I, I think Arteta think... in no planet is better than Unai Emery. Unai Emery got us to a European final with a team yeah, yeah. nobody rates, bro. Uh, nobody rates. Trinity. And without all his own players, bro. Man, what did Zaha? He got Pepe, bro. Let's not forget that. This guy turned blood, bro. This guy turned water into wine. He won the Europa League with Villa Real, bro, on a budget of 15 million euros, bro. 15 to 20 million euros, bro. 12, 12 million. Bro, this is a bro, it's a joke, bro. And these men think it's easy. Look how much money this manager is. And he can't win me a cup, bro. He can't well, win me nothing, bro. He can't even get us to a final. He can't get us to a final after but, hundreds but, of millions you know, of pounds spent. You know he is? can't even get us to a Europa League final. Bro, kind of crazy. Want, but this is what I'm saying to you. This this is this is our fan base. They go off emotion, not a not a fact. They go off emotions, not a sport. They go off emotions because do you know what? I have never, I have never in my life right, agreed with Jamie Carragher with anything. I never agree with Jamie Carragher. I think he's biased. I think it's, But you know one thing he said at the start of the season? Yeah, you know it's going to put. He said, the three best managers in the Premier League, and, and you will know why I say, I'll say you now at the start, and you'll find out why in me. And do you know what he said, bro? He said, Guardiola, Klopp, and he said, Unai Emery. I I I I I I I thought you know what I, 
he's got a point. And he said, look what, look what uh, Klopp won, uh, uh, Pep Guardiola won. Look what uh, Pep's won, Klopp and Emery. He said, no one's got that pedigree in the Premier League except them three. They've got the most trophies. <clears throat> Henry, regardless if Arsenal fans hate him and all that, why do you think in the director's room a lot of people got sacked and Vinan's leaving and this? There's something going on in the club. Vina, do you know when Vinan said, I'm leaving and, and people are getting sacked and they left by centre? There's got to be a reason why they're getting sacked and they're leaving. Because when they see this manager who Arsenal sacked, who told the Cronkies he ain't good enough, who told Josh Cronkie, who now runs the club, Enough. Josh Cronkey flew over and said, you know what, let's get our tether. listen to them people. Now he's looking at Josh Cronkey from a thing like, Villa, when Emery took over, was two points off championship football. In the pre-season, now they're playing Champions League football. This is what I said to my friend, if he gets them over the line, he's done something what I said I haven't done. We bottled it, and you're right, we bottled it against Tottenham top four. We're going to bottle two league titles. So if this guy gets Aston Villa Champions League football and wins a cup, he's actually done something. He's got him over the line. So what makes you think next season, signing two players, can't challenge for the title? He's won the league. He's won in the Paris Saint-Germain. What makes you think that Aston Villa can't challenge next season? That's what I'm asking the Arsenal fan base. What, what makes you think that? What, what made Mourinho's name? He went to Porto in a team nobody expected him to do it with, yeah? With a budget, nobody expected he could compete to win the Champions League. He won it, yeah? He won it. Yeah. Nobody, and he made his name. Why? Because a lot of people would say, with that club and the money and not being in the top five strongest leagues in the world, nobody expected you to do it. Why is that different to Unai Emery going to Villarreal? Even Valencia, their local rivals, are probably three, two, three times bigger than them as a club, as an institution. Yeah? He goes there, 15 odd million euros, and wins a Europa League. Goes to Sevilla, wins Europa Leagues, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? This guy has done it on shoestring budget. Yeah? The difference is, Mourinho, when he came to the Prem, he went to a Chelsea team that backed his ideas, gave him money, and he was able to achieve. Because the, the club at that point was in line with what Mourinho was doing. With all honesty, Unai Emery didn't have that Arsenal. No. Nobody can it. lie and say that. He wasn't, big, backed, he wasn't backed in his, in, in his signings that he wanted. He wasn't backed financially. And he wasn't given time. Two things that Arteta has been given time for. And the only thing Unai Emery did, instead of focusing in league position... He tried to win the Europa League, which he almost did with a team that nobody rated. Yeah, because if he won that, regardless of our league position, winning the Europa League, we're in the Champions League. You get a cup and you qualify. The idea wasn't bad. He's never lost. And, and the only thing is, he's never lost for no team except one team. And guess who that was? You already know who was, isn't it? You know that, isn't it? It's Arsenal. He's never lost a final only with Arsenal. Some sum up our club, in it really, in it. <laughs> uh, he's the problem. We wanted him out, but he's the problem. Well, you wanted him out, he's left. What's the beef with Una Emery? But let's keep going. Uh, everyone, a little bit. Mm. It's kind of like just a blow. It was always going to be a tough game, but you always back Arsenal's get over the line. Well, mm. real Arsenal fans back Arsenal's get over the line, but you know what? I just don't like to see is is um. I understand being negative about the result because it wasn't a good result and nobody's standing here happy but mm. you can't be negative about the season like yeah. as a whole it's not it's not a bad season and people are coming out here saying it's done it's over it's done we're, we're two points behind Manchester City yeah with a very good goal difference by the way they only have to draw one game so we're being negative I don't know where this B-Tech Kano filo da puta is talking about bro because now he's starting to get me angry you're saying, why are we being negative? Oh, we're only two points behind. We dropped the eight-point lead last, last year. Eight-point lead. Then you're expecting us what? After that to be, to, be, to, be, to be positive, that we're now chasing. We couldn't even hold on to our eight-point lead ahead of Man City. Yeah? The mentality of bottle has returned. You're talking about goal difference. Filo da puta, I don't care about goal difference. Yeah? I don't care what this Sully by the beach, Filo da puta from Top Boy is talking about, bro. The negativity is fueled by the fact that this team, every single time that they're backed, they flop and they bottle it. So guess what? 
the PTSD from the last 20 odd years are going to kick in because it's the same old story and it's the same old sequence of pukaria. Every time at the crunch end, we bottle it. Man, we're talking about 93% top of the league. I told you, man, I care about that 7%. That 7% will show me if we have changed. We've not changed. We've not changed. Where, 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 where's the, where's the, where's, bro, where's the, yo, bro, in a way, okay, so, so, what's a better season? Being in the Champions League, I've been there for like, since 1998. Up to Man City. What's a better league? What's that? Well, so, you know, what, what, what's a better, what's, what is a better league? Like, like come on, bro. Well, this is the problem, with, like, like, with some of this fan base, like, like the brothers just said, uh, it, it's not a negativity of one game, bro. It's like, it's happened last season, it's happening this season. It's not about it's not about having a good league, it's about winning it sometimes. If you're if you're telling me you're in a title race, then you're winning. You 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 should be trying to win it. Now everybody could turn around and say, Oh yeah, we've had a good season. Okay, maybe we've had a good season. But the reality is if Man City does the triple, <clears throat> what, what, what makes us? Oh yeah, but yeah, what? What what? You can't, they can't say forward, yeah, that we're the best team in the league and then justify to us that we should be content with finishing the season yeah, winning nothing. You got, you got, it you makes got, no you sense. Got, if you're the best team, win. you expect to win. Do you know you what can't Chelsea, say your team is the best, but end of the season, oh, we didn't win anything. But we're the, we were the best team, but we just, club, you know, you know, you know, you know we bought it. Is... The majority of the season, we were the best team. Nobody right. cares. But this is why, this is why, like, do you know what? We, I mock, we mock Chelsea, you're like, we mock Chelsea. We mock Chelsea, we've mocked, you know, you can mock all the Chelsea fans all you want. You can mock all the, you know, and, and we can mock the Liverpool fans all we want. That's all we do is mock them. But no, let me tell you something. They have won stuff that we're supposed to be winning. They have won it. it doesn't matter, you can mock them all you want. I remember two, when, 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 when Chelsea won their first Champions League, the first team ever to win in the London. And Arsenal fans are still fighting the shooter till now. Chelsea won another Champions League. And Arsenal fans are still finding shoes off. So you keep finding excuses and call it excuse FC. At the end of the day, you've got to win a title. We're a football club. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not here to like have an opinion or feel emotions. We've got to go. Sometimes you've got to try it. When, you, when you're there and up there, you've got to call the right choice. It's not everyone's having a meltdown. How about you explain to us like, why did he play his best players? Why did he put Zinchenko there? The failed us last season. Why is he, when he brought Jesus back, and I was saying, don't put Jesus in the team last year. Man City is going to go on for the triple. And well, what's going to be the excuse? Yeah, oh no, but Man City is going to be weaker next season. They just won the triple. Oh yeah, but they might have a bad start. So what? Man City, the problem with Man City is, you, they can have a bad start. They, oh, 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 the start of the season, Man City have finished. All Arsenal fans are saying. This man City is gonna go win the triple. That means we're fucking shit. I remember that one. They're weaker. They're weaker this season. They're weaker. They're weaker. Bro, listen. People need to wake up. It's like the reality of on the on, on planet Earth. Man City are the best team on the planet. And nowhere near Man City. Nowhere near Man City. They just won the triple. We just finished running up to them. And 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 and, and Man United won the FA. Man United won the League Cup. Man City done the triple. I think it's the trick, and, and, and this worst Man City team, and we've had a great season where thing where people are negative. It ain't negative, bro. You've got to see what's in front of you. you got you got people talking about Klopp leaving. Klopp's not top of the table. That's not the only is. What are you worried about Klopp for? Mm. Klopp goes, it's irrelevant. Whoever comes in, because the people who are going to win, the man who probably is going to win the title is Pep Guardiola. But mm. Arsenal, we're the only ones who are going to challenge him. How do you know next season we don't crumble? And how do you know one of our rivals don't catch up? Because I tell you what, we caught up to Liverpool. So how do you know one of the rivals Emery. don't catch up? Bro, you put Emery. Do you know what? I just seen a Man United fan, bro. I love Emery. You give Emery 100 million. See what he does with our team. Oh, he signed two players for Aston Villa. He's talking, he's, ta he's taking them to the heavens, bro. In one season, he, 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 he had one preseason, and he's doing. What, what, what it took us what one, two, three years to get what he, Emery did. 
Yeah, after oh, Gerard I... almost took them to the depths of relegation. Bro, Arsenal fans, just please. This is reality. I'm not even making it up. I, listen, I back out. No side to tell you. I was, I, I was, I was the only one coming on here back in Arteta before all of them did. When he was finishing eight, 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 I was there with North Side. Me and North Side, we had some, we had some fireworks about him. Oh, the time when you think, bro, they're taking the piss. You spent so much money. You spent so much money. You've done all this. You, you bring in Fabio Vieira. Why, why are you trusting your bench? You've done it for two years. Not good enough. Sell him. Just put him out on loan, bro. Like we did with Nuntavaj. Like we're doing with Lakonga. I don't play any of the players no more. I, I, the bench is We're players. buying players to loan them out to help you can't Newton. Sack, you can't sack <laughs> eleven players. At the end of the day, if I, listen, I tell you no, you can't. You can't sack eleven players. You can't sack eleven players. You can only sack the man in charge. You can't sack eleven players. They're, in the history of football. There's no one said, oh, you're getting sacked Zezus, you're getting sacked Havertz, you're getting sacked Declan Rice, you're getting sacked Saka. That don't happen in football. So you, if they sack Arteta, you're still going to continue supporting Arsenal, regardless if he goes or stays. If Arsenal turns around since we're sacking, and whoever they bring in, you're going to back that manager. So it's down to the manager. Playing with the players, they're not good enough. No, it's him. He's brought them in. He needs to take responsibility. Responsibility. Uh, yesterday, I did not blame the players. I blamed him because you had a chance. If you're a player and you know that your player come out and said uh, last year they they, they 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 weren't up for it, but then you play them same the same players who wasn't up for it in the most important game of the season. Who's who's to blame? Let's keep going, bro, because this guy thinks it's the fans. If we win it, we're right back on top of the table. So how are people going our season's over? Man City are going to win all their games. Man City have never won at the new White Hart Lane Stadium. They've still got to go there. So for Man City to win the league, they've got to do something they've never done before, Robbie. If oh, let me take that back. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, like, 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 like win the can treble? Like, like win the treble? Like, <laughs> like they've I, never like? done something under this manager. Right, right, no, 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 no. They've no, done no, the treble. No, no, he's talking. He's talking absolutely rubbish. He's talking rubbish. Arsenal fans, if you want to clip this, he's talking rubbish. Who be Tottenham in their grounds this year in the FA Cup? Who be Tottenham away for knocking out the FA Cup? I think it was a team called Manchester City. Well, they never won there. They just knocked them out two months, two, three, three four weeks, five, six weeks ago in the FA Cup. They knocked them off in January. Saying. This is our fan base, they don't do their research. This man said he just knocked out Tottenham in the FA Cup, so they've never won there. So that's 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 a lie there. Do you get me, bro? That's a lie there. They have won there. And according to me, bro, I see what Newcastle did to Tottenham. I ain't putting no faith in that team. Man City are gonna put six past them. Yeah, the way they, the way the way they got rocked by Newcastle is crazy. Nothing else that gives me confidence that we will still win the league. I'm not gonna chop and change, be a flip flop like all these pundits working for Sky who change their predictions every fucking week, Robbie. I'm an Arsenal fan. I support Arsenal Football Club. Yeah, we're gonna win the league. A one bad result isn't gonna dictate our season. So you're yeah? still confident? Of course, I'm confident. I believe we're gonna win the last six. Uh, how many have we won? No, nah, well, I think we're unbeaten in ten. Were we really going to go 17 unbeaten? It wasn't going to happen, Robbie. It was not going to happen. You've got to trust that teams are going to drop points here and there. I knew Liverpool were going to drop points eventually because they're not that team. There's a reason they've won one league in 30 odd years, Robbie. Yeah, they're going to drop points. Yeah, and Man City is exactly yeah, yeah, it's the same with us. It is the no, same. We... Exactly. What are you talking about? You're using Liverpool. You're trying to bash Liverpool. There's a reason they only won league one one league in 30 years. There's a reason why we've been failures for 20 years. Because you, man, don't want better. You, man, would rather be supporters of Saka and supporters of this manager and individual players than put in the actual badge and the club first. You, man, will rather go with supporting these players through thick and thin, even when they let you down, let you down, let you down, than saying, you know what, that's actually, you're not the best for my club. You're not going to get us to the promised land. It's time to, it's time to finish. It's time to cut the strings. Cut the umbilical cord. Arsenal fans never cut the umbilical cord. They never cut it with Wenger and they're not cutting it with Arteta. And this is why we prolong this Bukaria of always accepting the same Bukaria every single year. I am tired, bro. I am. I don't even have it in me to properly shout, bro. I'm so tired of it. Yeah. And these men want to be talking about Liverpool. 
We are in no position to be talking about Liverpool. Liverpool have got European heritage. Liverpool, yeah, and even when they were in the mud, they still won the Champions League with Gerrard and Carragher. Liverpool, yeah, have got more Premier League titles than Arsenal. Liverpool are a bigger football club than Arsenal. So mind, why don't you focus on Arsenal, bro? Instead of always quickly to be like, there's a reason. Why you can spot the reason why Liverpool aren't going to win the league, yet you can't spot it for your own team. Why, why is that? Why is that? Do you know why? Because when you look at Liverpool, you don't be, you're not emotional. These fans are not emotional. When they look at Liverpool, when they look at Man United, when they look at Chelsea, they're not emotional. They think with their head. When it's Arsenal, what, what it's emotional. Laugh, though? Do you know, do you know what it's emotional. Laugh when it's... That's why they can't see it. You know what makes me laugh with this Arsenal fan base? Yeah, yeah. Tottenham is shit. Oh, but when you play Man City, they're good enough to play Man City. What planet you living on, bro? Tottenham ain't beating Man City. And, it's, and when we go there, all right, I'll tell you now, when we go there, Tottenham, Will 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 all right will hide out a volcano <clears throat> to make sure we ain't scoring. You know, change, you know, that game there, you know, change his tactic. He, they they will change it. They will not allow Arsenal to win in that game. Arsenal will not be Tottenham because people like that don't understand. It's a North London derby, and the last thing they want is to see us win the title. We 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 in Man City. Man City, you said to my United United, yo, allow that push you aside, man. You ain't alright, but you just little boys down there, down south. That's what they've done, isn't it? This team will not allow Arsenal to win. I I I I Arsenal probably beat Tottenham, but by then I think Man City would have wrapped up the title. Mm. I think they would have they would have they would have wrapped it up by now. Yo, know, I'm not saying like look, like I'll, I'll be honest with you, anything can happen in the title race. Anything can happen, but the reality shows that Man City do not drop points. That's reality. Mm. Say, it might be, there might be a twisted turn. I hope that is. But reality tells me the Man City do not draw points in this time, this stage of the season. That's what reality tells me. Nah, I hear it. I hear it. Look, look at what I just sent you on the private chat, bro. Could draw when they win the race. So, so why do you think it's going to be any different this year? Their players are getting older, Robbie. Times are they going to win every single season, every every year forever? <laughs> they might do until until, <laughs> until somebody Pep stops runs. them. Until yeah. somebody stops them. Yeah. Why can't that be us? Why can't it be our time? They got Maybe it off because us. of games like today. Robbie, it was disaster. Or not. I believe this team is going to go and beat Wolves, and I believe they're going to win the last six of their games. And I do believe that Man City will drop points somewhere because I don't think they've been as good this season as they were last season. They're not the same machine that we've seen previous years. They're not. And that's maybe me holding out. They ain't dropped no points yet since the start of this year, have they? Fine, neither have we. No, well, we just did. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And their time will come. What do you mean, yeah, exactly? Bro, what are you talking about? Why can't it be us, bro? You you man know what we needed. The, this fan base loves to play stupid. This manager is not doing the right decisions, bro. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. You're not making the right decisions and all of a sudden you think things are going to change. How long have we needed a striker? How long have we needed a right winger? How long have we needed rotation for our defenders, our top defenders? How long have we needed another number 10? Bro, these issues have been outstanding for how long, bro? What are you talking? I don't need this B-Tech Kano. These men always act stupid, bro. They always act dumb. Start of the season, we need a striker. Now, oh, why can't we win it? Because your manager's a retard, bro. What are you talking about? Every time these Van Leeuwen's da merda always talk like this flipping special, bro. What are you talking about? You might know what we need, bro. Tired of this fan base acting dumb, bro. All because, oh, I don't want to get, I don't want to get bantered. I don't want to get bantered, you feel that puta. Don't worry. Because in a lot of shows, I've got to hold the heat. Because you feel that puta, don't turn up. It's getting on my nerves, bro. Don't act stupid, bro. Everyone knew we needed a striker. Start of the season and going into January. Everyone knew that they wanted to sell this bench, bro. And your manager persists with the same fuckaria. Don't come to me talking rubbish, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't come and talk rubbish like you don't know what is the problem. The problem is we're persisting with players that ain't good enough. We're recruiting players and then loaning them out, bro. Are we a bank? Why are we loaning out players when we ain't got a decent bench that's effective? What's man talking about?
But I don't, I don't know why. Why can't it be us, Robbie? Why can't it be us, you fill of that puta? Get your head out of flipping Saucy Santana's ass, bro. We trying to bow. Tired of it, bro. Tired of it. These men are so stupid, bro. What's the matter with you, bro? Grown ass men, and you're acting like you're dumb, bro. You know what the reason and the problem is with this flipping football club, bro. Too much sentiment, bro. These men are too hormonal, bro. Everything is emotions. Everything is just back it. Who are talking about you don't know why? Chatting rubbish. Let's move on. I had enough. I don't even want to hear the rest of this. Of that that you're, you're, not well, you're, you're, you're the first person to come here today. Have a little smile. It is. You're, you're going to lose games in football. Bounce, right, and we lost a game of football today. Yeah, this is not the one to lose, is it? You see the reaction? Straight away. It is what it is, mate. Yeah? You lose some games. You know what I mean, geese? You lose some games. Don't matter, mate. They don't care. They don't care, bro. How, can, how can your reaction... We have just potentially bottled winning a major honour. And your reaction is, well, mate, you know, you lose some, you, you, you win some, you lose some, mate. You know what I mean, guys? What's the matter, mate? What? What? That, that, that's what it means to you, bro. It, they don't care. They don't care, bro. This is why they don't care. This is why, to me, that's why when they see me, oh, why is he shouting? Why is he angry? Because I care, bro. Because I care. And you, man, don't care. So go support another football club. Yo, you, no, man, sorry. don't care. You're not fine. I got a duck on right, bro. I'll speak to you soon, bro. In a bit, bro. In a bit, safe bro. Safe, bro. Done with this, bro. Done with this. Man, don't care. Oh, it don't matter. It don't matter, geez. Yeah, I think that th this is definitely a time where we need to get behind the team. Uh, we've, we've got... I, I, I'd, I, I'd like to say we've got one eye on Bayern. On, yeah. on I, I do. I generally... I, I believe... One eye, we got one eye on Bayern. Yeah, we got one eye on Bayern. Well, you know, I, why, why can't we? They, you know, <laughs> math mathematically, we can do it. We've got the team, we've got the squad, we've got the depth to do it. We've got, you know, an amazing manager. We've, we've got the squad, we've got the depth. We've, we've got what it takes to do it. What are you chatting about? What are you chatting about? We've got, we got the depth, yeah? <laughs> who, came off that, who came off the bench against Aston Villa that affected the game? Let me know. Let me know who affected the game. You can't tell me. But we've got the depth. But we can't, we, we can't bring anyone on to win us the game. But we've got the depth. We've got the manager. Oh, a manager that keeps flopping, keeps bottling league cups, keeps bottling leagues. But we've got the manager that has the know-how. This Filo da Puta is talking absolute porcaria, bro. Absolute porcaria, bro. This is all delusion. We've got the depth and we've got the manager. We've got players that never won it and we've got a manager that's inexperienced has never won it. But we should believe we've got the depth. Whatever. Got, you know, an amazing stadium. We've got, we've got everything. We've got all the qualities, all the attributes necessary to do this. We can win the Champions League. It's on our day, we can beat any team. And I've said this before. And, and, and that's, that's it. We can, we can beat any team here, home or away. It's how we set out. And I think Mikel Arteta, Today got a few. I, I, I don't. I, I don't understand the Ben White substitution for me. Zinchenko needed to come off. We don't have the mentality. We don't have the mentality, bro. We don't have the experience. We don't have the know-how. We don't have the temperament to win major honors. So when you're talking all this bookery about, oh, we've got everything. No, we don't, bro. And if we do, well, the fact that he hasn't won, and and you think that we've got the team and we've got the quality. It's a failure. He should be sacked because apparently he's got everything he needs to, to succeed. So he should be sacked. <sighs> bro, I just, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I, 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 Tommy Asubrinum, I think definitely if we get the, if we get a Durian Timber that that Durian Timber literally just before he got injured and how he was playing, if that guy comes back in now, that that is a situation. That is a position that is a, an issue for us. It is that is there's there's too much there's too much change, and it's not like Urian Timber is the missing piece. Really, we have how much have we seen of Urian Timber for you to back him? Are we just gonna get? We're just going to overgas you in Timber. I remember when you man overgassed um, Kalazanak. I remember when you man overgassed um, Zinchenko. I remember when you man overgassed Lacazette. I remember when you man overgassed Mudrik that didn't come, but you overgassed him and look what he's doing at Chelsea. Yeah? 
I remember when you man told me that Holden couldn't do a job. I remember when you man told me that Elneny can do a job. I remember when you man were overgassing David Luiz. I remember when you man overgassed Peter Cech. A man is saying that the missing piece is Timber. Fight to man or filo da puta. What is Timber got to do with us scoring goals so viado da merda? Talking rubbish, bro. Talking absolute rubbish. What did to say? John Spencer. I can I can I can answer. <laughs> okay, good morning. How was afternoon? Hi. I am Unai Emery. How are you? Yeah, we are working. Yes. Yes. Excuse. Yeah, that's the manager that dunked on us, bro. That is the manager that dunked on us. So, you know what? We just got to hold that. We just got to hold that. From Mikel Arteta, I wanted to bring up some things from Mikel Arteta. After the game, certain things that he said after the game. I want to get into it. I want to get into some of it. I want to get into some of the stuff that this manager said after this game. Mikel Arteta, after the game, said, first half was superb. One of the best we have played against any top team. Filho da puta, we lost the game. We lost the game. Hello. Hello, Spanish Joey from Friends, you filho da puta. We lost the game, bro. Nobody cares about what happened in the first half. We bottled it. We bottled it. So let's with this... Trying to spin it into oh, but we were good in the first half. The game ain't 45 minutes of Filuda Puta, it's 90. You should know this by now. You've been a professional footballer, and now you're supposed to be a professional manager. Who gives a crap that we were good in the first half? It's irrelevant because we didn't win, did we? And with all that possession and chances, we didn't kill teams off. And you know what wins games? Oh, it ain't possession, is it, Filuda Puta? It's goals. It's goals. You marica da merda. It's goals. Then this Filo da Puta went on to say, we didn't have the flow we had in the first half. And why is that? Why is that? I guess it's because you're playing Havertz in the midfield. We didn't have that when you played Havertz in the midfield for flipping 18, 19 appearances, you Filo da Puta. We, we didn't have that then. So why are you persistent with the same Pucaria, bro? It didn't work at the start. Why are you persistent with it now? Is that a shock? You're supposed to be a manager, seeing these guys in training, seeing these guys every day, and you can't fathom in your brain that if you add Havertz to the flipping midfield, we're not going to be having the same flair. We're not going to be dominating the midfield. Declan Rice, you're talking about, oh, we didn't have the same flow. Yeah, you can't have a flow in the game, can you? When we have a, a CDM that's getting cooked all game in, ben White, in, in Declan Rice, do you sub him off? Do you bring party on? No. No, you continue with the same pukaria, bro. And this man is just talking like, oh, but, you know, it's just we just didn't have the same flair. It's down to you to change it, marica da merda. It's down to you to change it, bro. It's down to you. We don't need to hear this after the game. Make the flipping change. If you can see that by the touchline, make the change. Dickhead manager, bro. Tired of this guy, bro. Tired of this guy. What else did this flipping pan ladle say? We struggle to regain the ball. Who's the player in that midfield when you put Havertz, Rice, and Odegaard? Who's the player to regain the ball? Oh, Rice. Oh, Rice. So why not change it? Because he clearly is getting outrun in the midfield. Why not change it or add Thomas Partey to help him out? Ah, add Jorginho. Well done. Add Jorginho. A player that can't defend, a player that his best attributes are dictating the game from deep. Add him, but don't add party. But we're losing, we're losing the ball. This is inc this is incredible management, man. This is incredible. Super Mick Arteta, man. He knows exactly what we need, bro. He knows exactly what we need after the game is done to come out with the flipping obvious you pan ladle da merda. Why are you not making the changes? If you can see these things, and that is your game analysis, why don't you change it? Why don't you change it, bro? But no. Rice dropping a stinker? Nah. He's one of your boys. He's one of your boys, you feel that fool. So you keep him on. We're losing the ball. We're losing control. Nah. You know what? I'm going to keep Havertz. Don't worry about it. I'm going to keep letting him lose the ball. I'm going to keep letting him lose the ball. Can't Havertz get him run through? Ah. We're, we're, we're struggling to regain the ball. Nah. Nah. I'm going to keep, I'm gonna keep Rice on. I'm going to keep him on. You absolute pan lady. You absolute viado da merda. 
Estúpido da merda, pá. We had to be more patient to find our moments, but that's when we conceded. <laughs> you just said that we were losing the midfield battle. And then you're, su you're surprised. You're surprised that we conceded. Oh, you you're surprised, right? You're surprised. You're surprised. Oh. Do you know what doesn't help when you're losing? Yeah? And your, your players are being erratic and you're losing the ball and your CDM is getting ran through. Do you know what doesn't help? Do you know what doesn't help? Having a stupid Baleiro at left back in Zinchenko, yeah? Giving away opportunity after opportunity. How many times did you try to dribble out the box and lose the ball? That even led to Tielemans hitting the crossbar. So thank you very much. Yeah? Thank you very much, Baleiro, for coming out, yeah? After the game, instead of actually affecting the game. Thank you for saying us after the fact. Thank you, Artel. Flipping out. We are so ungrateful, man. We are so ungrateful to have a manager like you. Do you know what? We should praise the heavens, bro, that we got a manager like you, bro. Amazing, bro. The best kind of manager is a manager like Artel. He tells you the obvious after you drop the points. He won't make changes. He won't do anything to change the game. He'll just tell you after. Yeah, I knew we were getting cooked. I knew the midfield wasn't sourcing in, in the second half. I knew we wasn't putting teams to bed. I knew Zinchenko was, was, was all over the place. It doesn't matter, guys. Listen, guys. Sorry. I just didn't change it. I didn't feel like it. Yeah, I got my favourites. I'm going to keep my favourites on. You absolute ban ladle. You absolute viado da merda. Tired of this guy, bro. Coming out with the flipping obvious after the fact. Then, yeah, this Spanish paella eating filo da puta said, this was going to happen, but now it's about how to react. How about avoid this happening, you filo da puta? What do you mean this was going to happen? This is the mentality that you're instilling in these players. This was going to happen. This was going to happen. This is the this is the stupid age that this manager is saying. Isn't it down to you to avoid a team being effective down our left-hand side? Isn't it down to you to put a midfield, yeah, or correct a midfield that isn't creating, that isn't dominating the game? Isn't that down to you, Pan Lado? But no. But no. Oh, this was always going to happen. This guy is a loser. This Bun Ladle is a loser, bro. Absolute loser. To sit there and tell us this was always going to happen. Really? Why didn't you buy the right players? Why did you not buy the right players? You better answer me correctly now. Why didn't you buy the right players, bro? But this was always going to happen. It's your job to avoid this, so filo da puta. This... Care culo, care chimba. This viado talking rubbish, bro. Oh, this is always going to happen. Really? Paul, if this is always going to happen and we're going to crumble at the end of the season, filo da puta, we don't need you. We need someone that can get us over the line. Thank you for your services. You've been paid well. Leave my football clubs of viado da merda. Get yourself an Uber. Get yourself a, a, a taxi from Bolt and piss off. Piss off, bro. Yeah, how dare you say after the game that this was always going to happen? After you spent how much money? How much money have you spent, bro? This, you feel that puta, you should have been sacked in the first season for getting us eighth, bro. Una Emery did better with a toxic team and less money spent, you feel that puta. Tired of this guy, bro. Tired of this guy, chatting rubbish, bro. This was always going to happen. The audacity, and you know what? The fans won't pull him up on that. They'll say, oh, well, you know, you can't win every game. You can't win every game. Idiots. Absolute idiots, bro. The fan base matches this flipping loser, flipping manager, bro. If one result details our season, sorry, if one result derails our season, then we aren't good enough. Cool. So you said it to us. You've now said it. Thank you for saying that after the game, Arteta. Thank you. Thank you. Arteta said, if one game derails our season, we aren't good enough. You better win a major honour then. Because then on your words, you're conceding we ain't good enough if we don't win. 
That's what you're saying, bro. Yeah? Who manages this team? Who scouted these players? Who sets the system? Who makes the tactics? Who runs the training? Who sends players out on loan? Who gets players minutes? Who does all this crap? You. And now you're telling us what? If one game derails our season, we ain't good enough. Fill it up with that. That's down to you. It's down to you. Yeah? It's down to you. You receive money every month from this flipping club. Yeah? Whether you fail or whether you're winning games. It's down to you. It's time to get out my club. I'm tired of this filo da puta. Your own words. If this game against Aston Villa derails our season, we've not been good enough, which means you haven't been good enough. You can go back to putting out the nets, be doing the Spanish cones and bibs, filling up all the Lucas Aid bottles, prime bottles, yeah? Making sure the boys have packed lunch. You can join Rashe, yeah? Getting out turkey dinosaurs, getting out flipping chicken nuggets, sausage rolls, and all the rest of that crap. They're really dunkers. Has everybody got their Capri Sun? Has everybody got their Capri Sun? Put your hand up if you've got Capri Sun. Does anyone need Pom Bears? Does anyone need what's it? What does anyone, does anyone need ham, ham and cheese sandwich? Yeah? You can go back to being that guy you feel that puta. You can go back to being that. Yeah? You can go and do that. Because you were excellent. You were world class at being a backup dancer. You know what I'm saying? You can be a backup dancer. That's what you can do. Yeah? I don't care, bro. I'm telling you right now. Better win me a major honor this year. Eu não saber nenhuma cara. Caramba, eu quero esse filho da puta fora da minha, da, do, 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 do meu clube. Não tô a brincar, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Has anybody got sliced apples? Warm milk? Warm milk? Oh, oh, Eddie, do you need warm milk? Warm milk? Oh, do you need pop pop? Pop pop blanky? Blanky after? Yeah, blanky. All right, we'll get blanky. Nap time, everybody. Nap time. Everybody, nap time now. Does anybody need crayons? You filho da puta. Talking rubbish, bro. Talking rubbish, bro. Tired of this crap. Tired of this crap, bro. But if this result derails our season, bro, your career is going to be derailed, you feel that puta. We haven't been in the Champions League semi finals in 14 years, so we couldn't have come at a better moment. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you, you want to talk, you want to have chest. You want to chat now. Now you want to be talking about 14 years. Bro, you're just bringing up, yeah? You're bringing up more wounds, bro. More wounds. 14 years since the last time Arsenal was in a Champions League semi-final. Filho da puta, you better get us over the line. You better get us over the line. At least with Arteta, yeah? At least Arteta... Sorry, Arteta. Wenger wasn't given all the money you were given. He weren't given all the money you were given and he got to a semi-final. You couldn't even get us to a semi-final of the Europa League. Filo da puta, you better win me a major honour. I swear down, or you are out of the club. I do not want you at the club anymore. Anymore, bro. Anymore. I am tired of this. Man wants to be bringing up the last time he was in the semi-finals, bro. It's pissing me off even more. Pissing me off even more, bro. <laughs> I'm telling... <laughs> Cuidado comigo. Eu sou um gajo lixado, tô, tô te avisado, mano. Não tô aqui, não tô a brincar contigo. Vou te esticar, vou te dar uma bofa vascular na parede. <laughs> tá a brincar comigo? Esse cara pensa que eu tô playing around. I'm telling you right now, this guy better get his shit together. I'm telling you right now, because I'm, I'm not playing anymore. Yeah? End of the season, trust me. Man, I think I'm cooking this club now. Oh, oh my days. I'm telling you right now, what I've got planned for this guy if he bottles it. <laughs> Telling you, I'm telling you right now, YouTube's gonna have to cancel me. Não tô brincando contigo, yeah? É para arranjar essa porcaria. Não tô brincando contigo, man. Esse gajo pensa que eu tô brincando com ele. Vai ver. Quer brincar comigo? Vai ver. I'm tired of it, bro. I'm tired of it. I am sick and tired of it, bro. Let me get through the comments. It's circle time, guys, bro. It's crazy, bro. Emery had a plan and strategies. His moves are tetter. 
Arteta, on the other hand, copies on Pep and doesn't have a clue when things doesn't work, doesn't have the mentality to find a solution. Man's asking me if I'm Brazilian or Portuguese. Sou de Angola, Cabo Verde e Portugal. Uh, <clears throat> don't get cancelled, bro. Messed up society right now. Nah, bro, trust me. We're going to keep going. Don't worry about that. We, we, ain't, we ain't getting cancelled. We ain't going nowhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? Northside Ateta likes to waffle. Curtis Shaw uh, knows this as well. Uh, Mickey Ross waffle Ateta. Bro, this guy talks rubbish, bro. 15, 15 years, bro. 15. Do you know how much you can do in 15 years, bro? <laughs> it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, too. Me, too. I'm tired of this crap, bro. We're all tired, bro. We're all tired. It would be nice to have Jose Mourinho as manager, but I don't think um, he likes um, Arsenal. Bro, if it was Jose Mourinho on his prime, I'd take him. This Jose Mourinho now, I think he's only good enough to win cups at the elite level, bro. I, I don't see him winning major honours anymore. I can't lie. I think his time is kind of gone, bro. I can't lie to you. Still a decent manager, but to win the league, I can't lie. Jose's my guy, but I think that time's passed, bro. Can't lie to you, bro. I don't think he's that guy anymore to, to, to be winning major honours. I can't lie to you, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, so many Arsenal fans still in love with Arteta. The fan base is totally obsessed with by him. We need to protest to drive Arteta out of uh, this once great club. Arteta has too much power at this club now. Bro, let, let me just tell you one thing. This club drove out Wenger, yeah? Drove out Wenger. They will drive out Mikel Arteta. Mikel Arteta thinks he's got, yeah, the leverage of Wenger. Wenger is because he won three Premier League titles. Wenger is because he won countless FA Cups. This manager ain't got none of that. Best believe they will turn on him, bro. They will turn on him. They forced Wenger out, bro. They will force him out. So don't worry about that, bro. Just remember that. The, the, the fans drove the, the um, Arsene Wenger out, bro. Not turning up to flipping matches. Not doing any... Do you know what I mean? Bro, this guy, this manager will get driven out of the club, bro. Best believe he's going to get driven out of the club. Don't worry about that. Uh, Titanic was actually a sad ending. That's the whole point. Exactly, bro. And this man's telling me that, oh, our season's going to end like Titanic, bro. No, uh, don't forget the orange slices, Northside. Yeah, bro. Do you know what I mean? Make sure that, you know what I mean? These man, bro, it's crazy. Arteta needs to go. That's a fact. What will happen, however, is that the club's ownership will bring another yes man like Eddie Howe or Gary O'Neill, not a proper manager. I hear it, bro. You know what I mean? Honestly, Champions League is out the window. The mentality will continue to follow us through the rest of the season. Bro, this club, this is what I'm saying when people are telling me, oh, when we're winning games, oh, what do you think about the team now? Have you changed your mind now? I always said, get me over the line. The problem with Arsenal has never been challenging. Not really. Over the 20 years, not always has it been challenging. It's about getting over the line. It's about getting over the line. And they've proven me right every single time. They don't get over the line. They don't get it over the line. They don't get it over the line. But I know some people are still telling me, oh, it's still within touching difference. Mathematically, it's not over. I said this season, the big, big thing is our mentality. Not just the talent, it's the mentality, bro. Man can't tell me losing to Aston Villa wasn't about mentality. The manager felt the pressure and that's why he changed stuff, bro. Because he felt the pressure. Arteta felt the pressure, which is why he changed it, bro. That's it. Then the players felt the pressure. This is all mental, bro. This is all mental. Yeah, you know I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, what's this here? What are you man saying? Uh, do they honestly believe they're gonna beat Bayern Munich at the Allianz Arena, bro? Arsenal fans, bro. They're the cockiest fans, bro. Don't believe it all. They don't care, bro. You know what I mean? Uh, put the slippers down and back your manager. No, 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 no. I'll back my manager when you back Ten Hag. How about that? Big up to Staffy, my guy. Big up to Staffy, bro. That's my G there. You know what I mean? Arsenal always crumble, crumble under pressure. And until they do something different, people are always going to say this. They're always going to say it. Uh, stupid, um, in quotation, something stupid merda. Uh, Jorginho is not it now. It's it's mad. It's mad. 
he put Partey in right back before his natural position. He knows exactly what we need, bro. He knows, he knows exactly what we need. You know what I mean? It looks like Arsenal... Uh, it looks like Arsenal got Lego ahead of Rafa Benitez. Bro, Rafa Benitez is levels above this bum manager, bro. You know what I mean? It's it's mad, bro. It's actually mad. Um, I'm livid Northside. I'll take her out now. What are they waiting for? I've been, I'll take her out since he bottled top four to Spurs. This club is a joke. Vibes FC. Have a nice day at the stadium FC. Zero standards. You're not allowed to want to win. You're not allowed, bro. When you're an Arsenal fan, you're not allowed. It's illegal, bro. It's breaking the law. You're not allowed to want to win. As a rival, I can tell you I was excited when I saw the subs that Tata made. If you noticed, the game was under control until subs. You can see that, bro. But this manager can't. This manager can't. It's mad. It's actually mad. What are you man saying, bro? What are you man saying? I want to get you man's comments because I know when I do my lunch break um, live, I can't always get through all you lot's comments. You know what I mean? It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Hold on, I need a drink, man. I'm beyond the point. I can't even, I can't even fully shy anymore. I'm just drained, bro. You know when you're just like, bro, I'm, I'm just, I'm just disappointed, bro. I'm just disappointed, bro. You know what I mean? <clears throat> <clears throat> we ain't dropping points, says AK. Get it through your six goals, you mutants. These men, bro, they'll forever believe, bro. And then once the belief, once they run out of belief, then it's target other fans that called it out. Oh, we bottled it because you man didn't back it. It's boring, bro. It's boring. Being an Arsenal fan is boring, bro. Same old excuses. Same old underachieving. Mad. Bruv, I ain't putting money on Tottenham either. Fucking hell, the delusion is peak. I hear it, bro. If you listen, don't. Don't. I don't know why you would put money on, on Tottenham, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're as bad as Arsenal, if not worse, bro. So listen, don't, don't, don't. There's no point, bro. Uh, what about Airport Albert? Why doesn't he tell him um, he's making wrong decisions? Bro, do you think Arteta is going to listen to anyone? Are you mad? Are you mad? The manager's just as arrogant as the fans, bro. You can't tell them nothing. If you tell anything to an Arsenal fan, they'll say 115 charges to Man City. All your money. It takes time. He's a young manager. They're young players. VAR's against us. Pundits are against us. It was raining. The pitch was flooded. And this manager is exactly a reflection of fans like that. Bro, <laughs> you think he's going to listen to Airport Albert even if Airport Albert tells him something? Come on, bro. Mikel Arteta in his head, bro. All these, bro, when he's on to games, he's got in his headphones. Super Mikel Arteta, he knows exactly what we need. That's all he's listening to, bro. He ain't listening to nobody. He don't, bro. Do, do, bro, he probably tells, he probably looks at, bro, Airport Albert probably tries to tell him something. Yo, are you really going to play Zinchenko there? You really going to do it? You really going to play Kai Havertz there? You really going to drop Jesus as a starting striker? He's been atrocious since he started. Mikel Arteta's like, Bro, you was where I was at, bro. You are my Cones and Bib guy. You see, I was the Cones and Bibs guy at Man City. That's what you are to me. Little man, sit down, bro. Tell my man you're trying to be better than me. Tell my man, shut up. You know what I'm saying? Man said, yo, tell this guy to shit, bro. This guy dumb, bro. Man, bro, I've leveled up since con being the Cones and Bibs guy, bro. You're my Cones and Bibs guy, bro. Put the Cones and Bibs out. Put the Lucas A bottles out. And Airport Albert. Shut up. You know what I'm saying? He ain't listening to Airport out. Are you mad? Mick Artel. <laughs> he ain't listening to no one, bro. This guy. Telling you, bro. This guy ain't listening to Airport out. But the only time he came close to the title after 04 was 08 when we finished four points off Man United. When Leicester won it, I knew we'd mess up because we didn't have a striker. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Bro, but you know what? We're just angry for no reason. We're angry for no reason. No re we have no reason. We just we just do it for clicks and clout. We have no reason to be upset with this club football club. How dare us want our club to win? Madness, bro. Would you even take Rafa Benitez now in 2024? People forget that he won two league titles in the early 2000s. Bro, he's a better manager than our tower. He's a better manager than our tower, bro. 
Roughly, when do you see Arteta getting sacked or, or resigning? Bro, I don't see this manager getting sacked, bro. This manager's going to stay here for a while, bro. A good while. Do you know why? I believe, and, and this is when I'm going to start now gunning the ownership. I believe that this ownership, just like Tottenham's ownership, only want Champions League football. They want the prestige of being a Champions League team and the revenue. I don't think... If they do not sack Arteta after winning a major honour this season, for me, they're just as culpable. And I'm going to be grilling Josh Kroenke. Yeah? I'm going to be absolutely grilling him, bro. Absolutely cussing him out. Because if they sit there and accept this, that we go another season without winning a major honour, they're telling us, the fans, the players and the manager, you guys, are, there's no pressure to win. Guys, just as long as you uh, win, um, as long as you get uh, Champions League football. And then they show me they only got rid of Wenger because he was no longer to give them Champions League football. And if he was still able to get them in the top four, they would have still kept him on. It's no longer about winning. It's just about getting Champions League money. And I'm not accepting that. I'm not accepting that for the club that I love. I'm not accepting that based on our history. So we'll see. I don't think they sack him. I really don't think they sack him, bro. I think they keep him, bro. Real talk, thumbs ups as always. Only Arsenal fan who doesn't glaze uh, support um, the real 100. Big up to you, bro. Big up to you, man. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, big up, bro. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. Big up to all of you lot, man. And big up to all of you lot. Listen, I may have the platform. I just tried to speak to people like us that are sick and tired of it, bro. Um... New Guna fan, I was never a fan of this Arteta guy based on uh, the opinions of long-time Gunas. He's inexperienced and we need a new manager. He has some grey in his beard. Bro, he's not good enough, bro. He's not He's not a winner. He's not a winner. He wants to win, but wanting to win and being good enough are two different things. You know what I'm saying? Wanting to be the best and actually being the best is two different things, bro. Everybody wants to be the best. Not everybody's good enough. Do you know how many people that want to be footballers, but they're not good enough? Do you know what I'm saying? That's that's Arteta, bro. That's Arteta. Uh, Arteta will be in the Spanish third division in five years' time because that's his level. Facts. Uh, you're not seeing City fans have a meltdown or Liverpool. So why are most of you fans playing the cry game back Arteta this season ends in April, not May? Okay, cool. If we don't win it, please come back into my chat. Please come back into my chat. I remember this. Come back into my chat. Because clearly, you haven't learned. 20 years has not taught you. Last season has not taught you. Cool. End of the season, come back. And uh, I will have a box that I'm going to make called the Apology Box. And you can bring your apologies and apologise to me. Yeah? I'll have the Apology Box for everybody that's spoken crap to me. We'll see. Um, what's this here? Crunkies are disgusting. Crunkies are frauds. They don't want to win, bro. They don't want to win. Northside, it's been a pleasure getting to know you. Wish you all the best. Come on, bro. Come on, man. I wish all you real ones the best as well, man. Um, didn't Arteta nearly walk out last summer? Yeah, he did. He, start, he said that he was doubting himself about the job. He was doubting himself. But we're wrong to doubt him, but he doubted himself. Crazy, bro. Absolutely crazy, bro. It is what it is, man. I had to get a Maggie today to just cheer myself up. I got myself a Maggie. I got myself a new vape. And um, I've done my two lives today. So you know what? I'm going to be playing career mode on my Nintendo Switch. Yeah? At least I win stuff. So I'm going to have some time to be playing um, uh, EA FC 24. I'm going to do that. I'm um, going to do my career mode. And I'm, I'm going to chill. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to chill, bro, because this club today doesn't deserve any more of my saliva, of my energy, of my time, of nothing. Sick and tired of it. Tomorrow, it's going to be a bit tricky for me to do my live at lunchtime. I definitely will try to do two lives. Uh, it's going to be busy at work tomorrow, so I may be only able to drop one live tomorrow. I will be doing the watch along, the watch along to uh, Barcelona. I think I'm going to do the Barcelona... What, what? Chat, let me know quickly, yeah? Do you man want me to do the live for both games? The watch-along for both games um, tomorrow? Uh, Champions League, Barcelona, PSG? 
and Borussia Dortmund at Leti or just PSG Barcelona? Let me know, bro. You know what I mean? Let me know what, what you guys would prefer, bro. Because at the end of the day, this, this channel's here to, to, to serve you guys. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think Barcelona PSG is, is the better game, but I can do both. I can do both. Um, all right, cool. I'll do both. Everyone's saying both. I'll, I'll do both. So, yeah, tomorrow we're going live. I'll probably start the lap. Yeah, I'm F it. I'm going to start it early. If I only do one live tomorrow and I can't do a live at my lunch break because flipping work are asking me to do some stupidness. You know what I'm saying? These flipping idiots. Um, if I only do one live stream, I'll start at seven. If it, if I do two lives tomorrow, then I'll start it at half seven. Um, but yeah, we can we can be doing that, bro. Um, bro, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, yeah? It's good. Because then you can go on the plane. You know what I'm saying? If you get free time at work, you can, you can be playing a Switch, bro. I'm telling you, the Switch is the one, bro. It's the one. You know what I'm saying? Get it on the Switch, bro. At least you can play wherever you are. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I prefer the PlayStation one. I got a PS4. I've never, I've not even updated to the PS5. I don't see what the point is. Like, really and truly, I don't see it. Like, I don't think there's enough games out there to, to really justify. I'll be real, I'll be real with you lot. I, I, I can't lie. I don't see the point of upgrading to the PS5. Apart from just telling people I got a PS5. How many of you lot got a PS5? And tell me... Quickly tell me, is it worth it? I don't think it's worth it, bro. I'm going to wait till the price goes down, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm black. We're waiting, bro. We ain't just spending money frivolously. Do you know what I'm saying? Man's got to be, you know what I'm saying? I ain't just going to be paying full price, bro. I couldn't care less. You know what I'm saying? I can still buy my FIFA games for my PS4, play COD. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's worth it when more games release, bro. When GT, uh, when GTA Six comes out, it's worth it, bro. Is the GTA Six yet yeah, only gonna be on PS4? Or is it gonna be on PS5, bro? This vape is is calm, bro. It's even got a digital thing and everything, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? This vape is calm, bro. This is the Spaceman Ultra Plus Turbo, bro. 15k puffs, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bossman, Bossman, um, he's out there, man. Cherry Paradise, you know what I'm saying? Cherry Paradise, bro. It's one of them ones. But yeah, man. Yo, yeah, what you man saying? Um, I'm on Nintendo, guy. I've uh, even got a GameCube, bro. I remember I had a GameCube. I had NBA on the GameCube. That was sick, bro. The NBA game back in the day was, was hard, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, price uh, won't go down. Only the size of the PS5. What do you mean? Like, what, they're going to do a slim? Probably going to do a slim, in it, But you know what, yeah? I don't even know what, like... The thing is, I, I, I may even look into, like, just, like... I don't know. Bro, G, bro, GTA 6, yeah? For me to justify it, I'd have to do live streams. You know what I mean? Of playing GTA 6. But the thing is, I don't want to spend all that money online, bro. The way these people start put that bump you online, bro, about pay for this, pay for that. Pay for what, bro? Do you know what I'm saying? These men take the piss. Last time I went on GTA, yeah? I didn't have nothing. I just literally spawned online. Bro, there was man them. It looked like, you know the movie The Purge? Man was just shooting at me and everything. In the car, just shooting at me. and every. I was like, what are these foolish up what they're doing, bro? Bro, these man, yeah, had Lamborghinis. These man had flipping flamethrowers. These man had rifles, shotguns, machine guns, everything, bro. Going on like, bro. GTA 6, yeah, is like The Purge online, bro. If you ain't, if you ain't spending peas, and you ain't got a bulletproof vest and all that. These men had flying, bro. These men look like it was Harry Potter. Man are coming in a broom, shooting me down. I'm like, bro, I only lo I only spawned for two minutes in the game. Man are shooting me down. I'm like, nah, bro. Bum the online, bro. These men are just, bro, certain people, bro, they take this game serious, bro. And people are going in on gangs and that. You know what I'm saying? Listen, gang. We'll, listen, maybe we got to have to do our own gang, bro. Because the way, it, bro, it was mad. It was mad. I, <laughs> I joined GTA 5 online, yeah? I joined GTA 5 online. I was on phase one, bro. These men were already on phase 25, bro. It's crow, it was crazy. I'm like, I can't survive. But COD, COD, yeah. The thing with COD, yeah, I waste too much time on COD. You see, COD, yeah, when I get into the hang of it and I keep playing it every day, I'm actually calm. The, with with Fortnite, I don't know if you man, any of you lot play Fortnite? Because when I play Fortnite, yeah, I was playing it 
And it was like, as soon as I learned how to build, that's the thing. That's the only thing that I didn't like with Fortnite. It took time to learn how to build and build fast. Then I got all right. But then, like, all the men them were way better than me, innit? And they don't really want to play with man, innit? Because, <laughs> you know, when you're the dead one, yeah, at a certain game, Fortnite, I'm the dead one. When it comes to COD, I'm calm. When it comes to Fortnite, it took a while. I can't lie. It took a while, bro. You know what I mean? There's no build mode. But, bro, if I'm going to play no build mode, yeah, I might as well just play COD, bro. Like, it's a better game if I'm going to play no, 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 no. You know what I mean? Wait till, yeah, Black Friday, man. Black Friday, I got to wait till Black Friday, bro. It's only on the PS5. Oi, oi, chat, chat, chat. Oi, chat, help me out, bro. When is GTA 6 actually dropping, bro? So I actually have a, do you know what I mean? What I'll do is I'll get that. If you man want to play, even if some of you lot jump on, We'll play together, bro. Do you know what I mean? When when football's not on or there's not much content, fuck it, bro. We'll, we'll, we'll bang it out, bro. You know what I'm saying? We'll bang it out, bro. GTA 6 will be on PS5, Xbox, and soon on PC. Do you know what? Yeah, Xbox is cheaper, like. I swear the Xbox um, series is, is cheaper. There's, there's, there's a model that's cheaper than the PS5. I'll just get that, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? I can't even lie, yeah? The only Xbox I had was um, Xbox 360. But, bro, when I had the Red Rings of Death, feel that puta. I remember I had the Red Rings of Death, yeah? And I took the cotton buds. I took the buds off, yeah? And I put it behind the fan, like four of them, and you'd make it overheat. The fan couldn't spin and it would reset. Tell me in the chat if you know about that. To prolong the life of the Xbox 360. You know what I'm saying? If you know chat, you know, bro. GTA 6 got to be on the latest uh, Xbox and PS5 and PC. Switch can't take that. Bro, do you know what I wanted to get as well, yeah? Look, I'm going to get back to that. I'm going to get back to that. I'm going to get back to that. Ooh. All right, cool. It's almost it's, bro, it's almost my dinner time. Uh, all right, cool. I'm, I'm dropping soon. Chat. What I'm saying, yeah, is GTA 6... All right, cool. I read that one out. PS5 Slim is coming. But what's that going to be? Like half price? Yeah, the price goes down... Um, for next gen consoles, only if you get the slim version. I'm getting the slim version, bro. Um, what's this here? Yeah, it's pay uh, to win online. It's mad, bro. I'm not spending my hard earned money on that, bro. Broski is thinking of winning games EPL through EA career mode, bro. What else can I do, bro? What else can I do? GTA Six about uh, about the about to be crazy. It's like a modern day version of GTA Vice City on the PS2, bro. I remember them times. Do you remember when you used to get the disc out, yeah, and you go and you put it in, bro? I'm telling you, my house, yeah, that like my grandma's house. There was a PS2. There's like six, seven cousins, and everyone's fighting to get on the pad, bro. Them times there was lit, bro. Lit. If you lose, pass the pad. All boys, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? It was crazy. San Andreas, bro. Oh, my days. That game was lit, bro. I felt like I was in California. I thought I was in LA, bro. I felt I was in LA, bro. It's crazy. You know what I mean? I'm bad at building. I hear that, bro. I hear it. Um, I play Fortnite and never buy anything with real money. That's what I do, bro. That's what I do. I can't lie to you, bro. Um, to be honest, most of them man earn their money from their money glitch. Bro, these men have got like 10 million in the bank and that. You know what I mean? You know them ones, if you lose, you pass the pad on. Bro, that was the rules. And there was arguments, bro. There was uh, there was fighting, bro. You know when men start fighting, yeah? They don't want to pass the pad. And them days, you, you didn't really have wireless controllers. They were all cabled. And you'd fight and you'd pull it. And the PlayStation would go, whoop. And you'd hit this, go, and you're like, oh, shit. If you, take this, if you take the disc out and it's got like a rounded scratch, Game is done, bro. I remember, yeah, we used to get games. Would go to um, uh, what's it station? It was something game station, game station. It was game station and game. Would go to I think it was game station in Wembley, yeah, because my family live around Wembley. My mom's side of the family would go to game station and would just be trading games, bro. Trading games, getting a new Tekken, getting Crash Bandicoot, getting GTA. Getting, bro, remember Tomb Raider. I remember my cousin loved um, uh, Gran Turismo. I was more, yeah, Need for Speed 2. That game. Du -dum -dum -dum. Du -du 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 -dum. To the window, to the wall, to the wall, to the sweat jet down my ball. All oh, these females, bro. Ah, oh, ski, 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 ah, ski, ski, ah, ah. Bro, 
I'm telling you, them days were the littest days, bro, of games, bro. I don't care what no one's GTA Tekken. Yeah, Street Fighter was calm. Yeah, but I preferred Tekken more of a Street Fighter. Yeah, Need for Speed 2. Yeah, or Need for Speed Most Wanted. That was lit as well. And then it started getting a bit stupid. You know what I'm saying? Bro, them games there. <laughs> bro, those games were mad. Juice was good as well. Juice was good as well. And what was that game? It was like GTA. It was like GTA, but it wasn't GTA. What's that game called, bro? I can't even remember. You know what I'm saying? Tekken 3, bro. Eddie Kodo. I had one friend. He kept doing the spinner Rooney attack, bro. That guy was pissing me off. I'm like, do another move, bro. Yeah, Mortal Kombat was lit. Saints Row was lit. Yeah? The first Saints Row was lit, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was lit. The first and second Saints Row was lit. Midnight Club was lit as well. Midnight Club was lit. What else was lit, bro? I can't even remember. I can't even remember. There's so many games, bro. There's so many games. I, bro, I can't even remember. True Crimes! Oh, you remember about True... I had that on the Xbox, bro. You know about True Crimes, bro. That was lit. And I remember back in the day, yeah, the best, the best game... Smash Brothers was lit as well. Yeah, the best game. Yeah, the best game. Or one of the best games. One of the best games. Yeah, it was up there. Now I forgot. What game was I going to say? Oh, I forgot the game I was going to say now. I forgot the game I wanted to say now. But anyway, bro, there's too many games, bro. Resident Evil 4, bro. Resident Evil 4. I remember Pokemon, bro. Pokemon. I remember having my Game Boy, yeah? I think my, my first device was a Game Boy Advance, yeah? And I had, and I had, um, I had Pokemon. Bro, when you'd get the cable and you transfer Pokemon, that shit was lit, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? That shit was lit, bro. Don't care what no one tells me, bro. Them times was too lit, man. I remember my friend had the Donkey Kong bongo thing for the GameCube. Does anybody does anybody remember Habbo Hotel? Does anybody remember Habbo Hotel? Yeah, on the PC. Let me know if any of you remember Habbo Hotel. I'm telling you, bro. This is when people say, oh, no, son, you're toxic and negative. Bro, I actually had a, bro, I had a lit childhood, bro. I had a lit childhood. I had fun, bro. I had fun, bro. I enjoyed myself, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Habbo Hotel. If you know, you know, bro. And let me tell you something. How do I forget? Them early WWE games, SmackDown vs. Raw. And Bro, I don't care what man are telling me. The best wrestling games of all time, bro. PlayStation 2 wrestling games. Nothing touches that era of wrestling games. I don't care what no one tells me. Nothing touches that. The reason I want to get the Xbox, because I want to be playing... That's what I was going to say. I wanted to be playing Fight Night. I think it's Fight Night, isn't it? The boxing thing. Yeah? Fight Night. I want to play the one that was on the Xbox 360. What was that one called? The one that was on the Xbox 360, bro. Because there's no more boxing games, bro. And I like boxing games. Do you know what I'm saying? Mini clip. Oh, man knows about mini clip. When you're on IT in school and then you're doing mini clip, bro. Them days were lit, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I, 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 the one game I, I want to play that I didn't get when I had Xbox 360 was Fight Night. Yeah? I want to play that, bro. I want to play that. I didn't play that. And apparently, they, it's... Um, you can get old Xbox 360 games on the new Xbox series. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, what's it called again? Um, cross platforms or whatever it's called. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's what I want to get, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? But back in the day, don't talk to me about FIFA, bro. Pez in the early 2000s, up until about what 2009, I'd say, Pez was the game when it comes to sports, bro. When it comes to football. Pez was the one, bro. Don't chat to me about Pez. Pez with Adriano. <laughs> Don't chat to me. Pez with that flipping AC team. Don't chat to me. Pez was light years away um, from flipping FIFA, bro. Light year, bro. Pez was doing their thing. The only thing, they didn't have the licenses. They didn't have the licenses, bro. That's the only thing. Uh, Undisputed coming out, yeah? Bro, mini clip, bro. Mini clip. I'm telling you, that was the one. That was the one. Bro, when I had Call of Duty Black Ops, yeah, I was doing my apprenticeship, yeah, to be a gas engineer, to work on boilers and store boilers. I was getting so late to work every day, yeah? I had to get my flipping and it hurt me. 
COD Black Ops, I had to get the disc and snap it. Because I said, this game is going to cost me my future, bro. But I'm telling you, back in the day, the wrestling games, bro, oh my days. Even the way you'd build momentum. Come on, man. Man, man I'm talking, what are you, bro? Are you mad? Are you mad? My childhood was lit, bro. My childhood was lit. Man can't talk to me about the old school games, bro. Man can't talk to me about the old school games. You know what I mean? Bro, who remembers Shockwave games on them websites? Exact, bro. It was lit, bro. It was lit. I remember, I think it was Computer Exchange, yeah? I remember I used to go to the one in Harrow. Because I'm from around Harrow. Um, I used to go to the Computer Exchange. Me and the man them used to go to the Computer Exchange in Harrow. They had PCs upstairs from the Computer Exchange. And you could play online. You could play all the games online, bro. Them days were lit. Mum would, mom would bunk school, go and play, go to computer exchange, go up the top, start playing GTA online, yeah. Start playing all these games online or uh, um, flipping um, Halo or whatever online, and then just go back into school for the last lesson, bro. Bro, life was life was good, bro. Life was good, bro. Life was good. I can't lie, bro. I enjoyed my childhood, bro. Oh, Spider Man was lit. Spider Man was lit, bro. I can't lie. I never had Halo. One of my boys, his brother had Halo, bro. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? No, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Uh, I'm telling you. What's this guy said? 06, I won back-to-back -back trebles with West Ham. <laughs> bro, my, my cousin was a bastard, yeah? Quickly before I go. My, my younger cousin was a bastard, yeah? This guy would be playing Pez, yeah? We would go home. He would always be at my grandparents' house. The rest of us would be there, spend the weekend there, go back home. He would be on Pez. He would pick Inter Milan or he'd pick Real Madrid. He would make his own players, rename them into real players, put every attribute in 99. Then when I come to my grandma's house, my guy's slapping me up, yeah, 10-0. And I'm thinking, how? This guy got all his flipping players in 99, bro, and renamed them as real players. Bro, I wanted to rip Daniel's neck. I said, you fill that puta. Don't even try it, bro. You absolute idiot. He's like, what, 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 what? The game came like this. I said, why do my knuckles of the other meta? I found out, bro. I swear down the way, the way I happy slapped him. Happy slapped him so hard, bro. Man's taking the piss, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Man's making it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These men are going back home. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. During the weekend, man's putting every, every attribute. He had a striker that was 99, even goal attributions. Goal attributions, bro. Why is your striker need to have 99 goal attributions, bro? Every player, 99. Everything. Defender, 99 finishing. The striker, 99 defending, 99 goalkeeping, bro. The goalkeeper, 99 goalkeeping, 99 striking, 99 creativity, 99. Bro, this guy took the piss, bro. Daniel's a dickhead, bro. Now he's a dickhead, bro. I'm telling you, the guy took the piss, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, listen, you, man, bro. The more time I can spend with you, man, yeah, the more you, man, will get to know who Northside is, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Oi, FIFA Street was the one. Bro, I used to love FIFA. Bro, I played FIFA I started to play FIFA Street more than the main game, bro. You know what I'm saying? I started to play FIFA Street more than the main game. FIFA Street. FIFA Street 1, FIFA Street 2 were lit, bro. Lit. That's what I said to you. These bum-ass players these days, bro. None of them get into FIFA Street. You mad? You mad? I used to put FIFA Street, yeah? I had Figo. I had Ronaldo. Who else did I have? I had Deku. But I had ballers, bro. Ballers in my team, bro. Man, man. Bro, when you picked, when you picked, when you picked Barcelona, um, Brazil, yeah? In FIFA Street, game over. Ronaldinho, Rivaldo, Adriano, R9. Bro, it was just disgusting, bro. It was disgusting. Roberto Carlos, bro. Roberto Carlos finisher on FIFA. Bro, you man trying to talk to me about dickhead players now. Oh, come on, man. Bro, WWE, here comes the pain, bro. Listen, it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. My friend did that to me, but, but still lost the game. He was mad. <laughs> bro, I took Brazil, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Robinho. Bro, I'm telling you. Fuck, bro, Saka couldn't be in FIFA Street, bro. Saka couldn't be in oh, Saka in FIFA Street. Are you mad? Are you mad? He wouldn't even make the bench. He wouldn't even make the bench, bro. I'm not even lying, bro. I'm not lying, bro. Every nation in that game, FIFA Street, was lit, bro. 
Every nation had ballers, bro. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, Daniel is a sacco plastic. Bro, this guy is a, he's a, he's a demon, bro. You already picked Real Madrid and you're already making him think 99, bro. The guy is an idiot. You know what I mean? Y'all never forget a true gaming classic Mario, Mario Kart, man. Mario Kart, bro. I can't lie. The last time I played Mario Kart, my girl beat me. <laughs> I can't lie. Well, she beat me, you know. And she beat me, bro. I didn't even know what to say, bro. I didn't even know. All I can say is at the time, I didn't have a Switch. And I didn't have the game. So I just said, listen, I don't have the game. I don't have the game. I don't practice on the game, you know. It's not my game. That's all I said, bro. That's the only way I got out of it. But she beat me, bro. She beat me. I can't lie. Imagine Doku and FIFA Street. Bro, Doki ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? You can't forget the Dragon Ball Z games on PS2, bro. The Dragon Ball Z games are lit. I got a Dragon Ball Z game on my Switch. Hold on a second. Let me show you, man. Let me see. Yeah, let me show you, man, what my Switch is saying, bro. Let me show you what I got on, 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 on the Switch, bro. Do you know what? I got that new Harry Potter game, yeah? I don't have time. Do you know why? I dedicate my time to you lot, bro. You know why? Because you, man, are the realist. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather be live. That's... That's it there. That's my games there. Hold on. Let me show you, man. You know what I'm saying? So you might know I ain't chatting rubbish. I got FIFA. I've got Hogwarts. I got Royal Boxing because I want a boxing game, man. I want a proper boxing game, though. That one's like a, like a, yeah, it's not the real world thing. I got Dragon Ball Z. I got Fortnite. I got Pokemon. I got Dying Light. Oi, let me tell you something. That Dying Light game, yeah, is lit, bro. I've got EAW uh, Wrestling. I've got No Man's Sky and I've got Hades. Lit games, bro. Lit games. I will say, yeah, Pokemon is just nostalgia. Dragon Ball Z is nostalgia, even in the new games. Dying Light obviously came from the PlayStation, but that Dying Light game there, lit, bro. Lit. And this A uh, AEW game is actually pretty good, man. Not that I watch it, but playing it, it's, it's pretty good, man. I, I like nostalgia, innit? I can't lie. I like nostalgia. No Man's Sky, that's pretty sick. You go to different planets and shit, but I ain't got the time. Like, to sit down, like, you need time for certain games. Dragon Ball Z game, you need time. You know what I'm saying? Hogwarts, you need time. A AEW, you need time. I ain't got the time. I ain't got the time, man. But I ain't going to complain. At the end of the day, I enjoy making content for you lot. And I enjoy chatting to you lot. So, it is what it is, man. It is what it is, bro. But, um, yeah, man. Uh, Pez, 12, best footballing game ever. Don't care. Bro, I hear it. I hear it, bro. Pez was the one, bro. But they put the foot off their gas, bro. They put the foot off off the neck of uh, of FIFA, bro. Yeah, bro. I played I played Saints Row, bro. I played Saints Row. Do you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Did I miss out any game of a game that I really love? Quickly, I I loved Beyblade. I can't even lie to you, man. I love Beyblade, bro. Beyblade was the one. I don't care. Beyblade was the one, bro. I love Beyblade, bro. You know what I'm saying? Northside, if you win something, are you going to the parade? Yep, I'm definitely going to the parade, bro. I've never played Last of Us. I've only watched the show. I've never played that game, bro. I heard the game is lit, but I've only watched the TV show. The TV show, 10-10 show. Yu-Gi-Oh! I only had the card. Do you remember when your friends used to play the cards? I had the Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, but I never actually played it on like PlayStation or on a console. I used to watch it, and play it, but Digimon, Pokemon, Beyblade, different thing, ah, oh, do you know what another good game is on the Switch, what's that game, that anime bro, the one with the massive giants, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called, I'm forgetting now, quickly, 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 what's that game, what's that anime with the massive giants, anime, Hey, chat, help me out. What's that anime with the massive giants that they, they've got the, like, string things and they slice the back of their neck to kill them? Anime with giant... Giant people. What's it called? Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Oi, the anime and the game, bro? Bro, that, that anime, yeah, you play that anime. It's almost like... I, ha I have it on the Switch. I can re-download it because I already paid for it. I can re-download it. I just need a bit more space on, on the Switch. Attack on Titan, bro, it's like Spider-Man, but better. You know what I'm saying? Attack on Titan, that game on the Switch is 10-10. But like I said, I can't get into these games, bro, because man will start not turning up. You know what I'm saying? But um, 
but yeah, right now I'm watching um uh what's it? I'm in I'm towards I think I only got like a couple more seasons, a couple more, probably at 50 episodes to finish Bleach. I've watched Naruto. I think One Piece is absolutely trash. Don't like One Piece. I think it's I think it's dead personally. Um I've watched uh Attack on Titan, I've watched uh Demon Slayer, um still watching that. What else have I watched? I can't remember. I watched a couple of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, obviously, I've watched Dragon Ball Z from early, early. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man, I love I love anime, bro. This is the thing. I, bro, culturally, I'll go dance my music, Kizomba, Semba, all that type of stuff. I entertain myself with flipping Hunter x Hunter. People told me about Hunter x Hunter. I ain't watched that yet. I ain't watched that yet, bro. But yeah, man, I love, I love anime, bro. I love anime. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what do you about One Piece? I don't really get what you mean by that, but I don't like One Piece at all. I think it's the most pointless show. Every time they go into island after island, nothing's getting closer to the One Piece. I think it's just pointless. I can't lie to you. I, I just think it's pointless. I stopped at like episode 70 or something. I said, ah, nah, this is dead. You know what I'm saying? This doesn't compare to Naruto. Uh, this doesn't compare to Dragon Ball Z. This doesn't compare to Bleach. I just don't get the, the hype with One Piece, bro. I think it's just a pointless, ongoing thing, bro. You know what I mean? I, I don't I don't like it, bro. I don't like One Piece. I think One Piece is severely overhyped. Severely overhyped. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me, bro. That's just me. Listen, if people enjoy it, people enjoy it, bro. If you enjoy it, cool. But it's not for me. Listen, people, make sure you're liking and subscribing, hitting the bell notification. Without further ado, I'm out, familia. Love.